Repair light switch or receptacle, you need backing for the drywall to adhere to. You can use a paint stick, but drill a hole because it will split when you put the screw through. I'm using laminated flooring. It takes a screw very well. Install a long screw in the center. You can pre-install some screws here. I'm using an inch and a quarter. I put a little glue for extra strength. Have the glue out here on the end so it doesn't block the receptacle opening. Pull tight. All right, pulled right in nice and tight. That one pulled all the way through, as long as it's solid. Then remove this. Since this is open, let me show from the other side. Here's the backing plate, screws. This is pretty wild. So get you a little scrap, butt it up there, draw a line, do the same here. You can also do the height that way, and then cut it. I've got some drywall tape, pre-cut, ready for mud. I've got the green lid, joint compound. And when you first buy it, it's a bit thick. That's not bad, but I'm gonna mix it up a bit. A little water in there. Put this on my drill. One little trick, you can just mix the top layer if you don't want to thicken the whole batch. Here's the patch. This can be glued or screwed. However, a screw, you risk cracking this. And drywall mud acts as a bonding agent. So we're gonna fill in all those cracks, everything all at once. So just load it up with mud. I would say that's enough. Mm -hmm. And force this bad boy right in there. Right? Nice. So now, everything is filled. Now this is recessed a little bit, which is good, so you have an area for mud to fill. So we'll cover the whole surface. And then thin it out. See the outline where the crack is and paper's got a crease in it you want that inward put one there oh need a little bit of mud behind it same thing here and we're covering this joint and this joint all at once all right Sneak a little mud in here. Nice. Hold the bottom and gently go up. Gently go down. Nice. Just keep applying more pressure each time. Mm. Whoa, see that? I pulled too hard. All right pulled too hard. I hate when that happens. Nice. So you want to feather the edges. Put more pressure like that. Go right down. Same on this side. All right. Basically, we'll just clean it up now. Let that dry. Rule of thumb to check your work is put your blade on there and see how much rock you got. See, it's there's basically nothing there. It's flat. Here's the rock. See that? Very little rock, which is to be expected on a flat joint also known as a butt joint. <laughs>
Well, let's take a look from the other side. So here's where it has oozed out. And when that dries, it'd be rock solid. That's the patch from earlier. So now let's dry. You want to knock off any boogers. Nice and flat. You can still see the outline of everything. Load everything up with mud. And just spread it out well beyond the patch. Very light handwork here. Just slowly remove some mud. You don't want to take it all off. Or you'll still see the patch. Now you want to feather the edge. More pressure here. And just go right up. And one on this side. Hmm. And a real light pass across the center. Let that dry. So we got a little outline of the patch. We'll give that a quick sand. Load it up with mud. And I got a 12 inch trowel. Thin it out. More pressure here. Basically, putting mud on, taking it off. I'll let that dry. Quick sand. Ready for paint. So the whole reason for this patch, we got a 36 inch width door here and there was a light switch there and it was behind the door. And I can move it to about here, which is better. It's an improvement. But I also plan on going to a 32 inch or a 34 inch door, which will make it set back a little bit more. I have two projects going on at once. I'll be putting the light switch here and then one on this side for the washroom. So if you'd like to watch that process, I'll provide a link right here, over there.